guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. You guys are in for a treat in this video. I have got some extraordinary nighttime footage of giant triangles in the sky, mysterious random lights in the sky that, that simply don't make any sense. They are definitely not airplanes, let's put it that way. We're going to come back and take a look at those amazing videos here in just a second. But first over here at the homepage of the website, speaking of amazing, Joe Fisher out of Minnesota sent in this stunning nighttime rainbow infiltrated with lightning here's a look at the daytime view from the same location in the stadium there in minnesota checking out a baseball game and here's a larger view of the same photo from the same location see the the nighttime rainbow isn't that cool what an amazing photo coming out of minnesota by joe fisher thank you joe really appreciate that checking in on the goes x-ray flux over here at the the space weather prediction center all quiet the last 24 to, to 48 hours the earth facing side of the sun Still loaded with sunspots, not as many as we've seen the last four or five days. Some are beginning to turn away from the Earth, as you can see over here on the, the right-hand side of the sun. But over here on the eastern side, there's some new ones turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. Looking at the Schumann Resonance, it too has been all quiet the last 24 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Earthquake activity at Soda Butte, Upper Falls, over here along the northwestern quadrant you can see a little bit of earthquake activity other than that not much going on at the super volcano we've got power outages across the northern tier and could probably see more in the united states and quite possibly more down here in the the southern united states as these power outages are being instigated by severe weather check out the the storms moving through minnesota entering wisconsin southern canada right now as i do this video even parts of western iowa down here in Louisiana, Alabama, very strong storm situation right now. And you can see in Mississippi, 14,000 customers without power, 57,000 in Michigan, and 54,000 in Minnesota. And the reasons are very obvious as strong storms are moving through the area right now as I do this video. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to Nova Scotia, Germany, and Texas. Not necessarily in that order. Going to start off right here in Livingston, Texas. Video footage sent in by David. David, 826, 2024 at 558 AM. I zoomed in on the right, the original vertical video over here on the left. Some sort of a, what looks like a mysterious pulsating triangle in the sky. He said it's not a star. I agree, it doesn't look like a star. It's got a unique shape. It looks like a, a triangle way off in the distance, maybe at 15, 20,000 feet. And it appears to be stationary, and you can see what looks like a, a dark circle in the center of this thing. He was really taken back by this thing, whatever it was. Doesn't appear to be an airplane, obviously not a helicopter, no blinking lights, and wasn't making any noise. And going from Texas to Germany, check this out. Video footage sent in by Sven B from May 25th of, of 2024. Again, vertical video on the left, I zoom in on the right. Not only will you see a, a bright light in the center, kind of similar to what we just saw in Texas, but this object, whatever it is, is not alone. Check this out, great video footage coming out of Germany. Yeah. Almost looks like a triangle craft, an invisible <laughs> triangle craft yeah. sitting in the nighttime sky because you have three points of light. One, two, three, like they're attached to something larger. I'm not quite up to speed on my German, but as you can see, they're clearly drawn to whatever this is up in the sky, the two blinking lights. Sometimes you'll see a third one, and then the larger bright light in the sky that appeared to remain stationary. Here we go, in for a closer view. Check it out. One, two, three, and then sometimes there's a fourth one there. Those lights appear to be attached to something that we just simply can't see. There's something up there, guys and it's not meant to be seen. The lights are visible, the craft is not. And coming up is a modified format, just a simple light reduction, nothing fancy here. And you can see the, the lights themselves. I was hoping to see maybe other lights, but it was just the same lights that we saw in the beginning of the video. Um, there's a craft up there. Those were attached, in my humble opinion, to something else. They're very stationary. They don't seem to be moving around, and if they do move, they're moving in unison. They're moving together. Here it is in a different format yet again. There's a small light there. 
A light there and a light there and a light there, like they're on three separate points. And they look symmetrical. They were very taken back by this thing, whatever it was, in the sky above Germany. You're going to see another one here off the coast of Nova Scotia. Let me pause it right here. The viewers were right up here along the east coast of Nova Scotia along a beach looking this way towards Maine. The object you're about to see is above the water off the coast of Maine, visible from Nova Scotia. And here's the email that was shared with me by Anne. She goes on to say, first time sending in, not sure what this is. Friends were looking from Queensland Beach in Hubbard's Nova Scotia towards the southwest sky. Hoping to see August meteor showers. Caught this, maybe a triangle, UPA. Maine, USA is in that direction. And I hear they see triangles a lot. Hope you can spot stuff I can't. Thanks for looking, Anne. Nova Scotia, Canada sighting. And again, they were looking towards Maine out over the water. Here's the original video sent in by Ann, taken on August 21st of, of 2024. Again, they were just out here looking for meteors, and this appeared in the sky out over the water. I'm going to zoom in for a closer look, and as you're going to see, it looks very similar to what was just spotted above Germany what was seen in Texas, and I've got more video footage of what looks like a gigantic triangle off the coast of Florida, out over the Gulf of Mexico. Ultra zoom, see two stationary lights, there could be a third there, but they too, like the video we just saw, almost appear to be attached to something that we just simply can't see. And that happens a lot, I get videos like that all the time. And you can hear the water. They were definitely standing along the, the coast of Nova Scotia. They were out meteor hunting when this thing appeared out of nowhere. And it was very quiet, remained stationary, didn't move. It was in the direction of Maine. Here are side-by-sides of Germany and Nova Scotia. You'll notice an extra light spotted above Germany. There could have been a third light at times. I think I did see a light very temporarily from the Nova Scotia video, but they look very similar, and I'm wondering wondering if they saw quite possibly the same object just on different nights. They look to be the same size, at least the, the primary bright lights do, and the Germany sighting has secondary smaller lights, but those appear to be attached to a larger craft that was simply not visible. Great video footage coming out of Texas, Nova Scotia, and Germany. Here's that giant triangle I was talking about from Cape Coral, Florida. Marilee Rothen looked up and saw this in the nighttime sky. This is the original vertical video. I have slightly enhanced this. I'm going to modify it even more, and you're going to get a closer look at these lights that appear to be flashing. Those are not stars. They're in a, a huge triangle formation that goes this way and this way some sort of a massive, mysterious light in the sky visible from Cape Coral. Notice the light there. Down here, you're going to see lights moving around. There was a large array of lights there in the sky, and again, it had some moving lights that you're going to be able to see in this segment right here. Check this out. Notice the lights down here. They appear to be blinking at times, kind of turning on and off. These two appear to be attached to something larger. Look at how big that is. I mean, that thing is huge. Was it making a sound? Absolutely quiet. And you can see those lights I was talking about right there. See them? There were other lights there that were moving around or they were attached to the bottom part of this massive ship spotted in the sky. At least that's what it looks like. How else do you describe that? It's clearly not an airplane and clearly not a helicopter. And speaking of ships, that's what was being described in this video by Tanya Smith and Thomas Falk. They were looking up in the early morning sky from an undisclosed location on 828 of 2024 at 531 a.m when this was moving through the early morning sky. That doesn't look like Starlink. At first, I thought that's what that was, but that is definitely not Starlink because they're, they're too close together. They're too compact. That almost looks like a solid cylinder of light moving through the, the early morning sky. And they're calling it a ship. That's what it looked like to the naked eye, some sort of a, a ship. That's what she just said. 
and they filmed this thing for about 30 seconds and then it disappeared behind a tree line over there not quite sure of the location because they didn't tell me the location just the name and the date and time which is good enough i i prefer the location but that's okay if you guys happen to be watching this video leave a comment down below where you saw this this is a modified format i brightened it up a little bit every once in a while you'll see some rogue lights on either side of the obvious light in the center that looks like a cylinder moving through the sky it really does if that were starlink i think it would be a little bit longer i've seen many versions of the starlink satellite trains and i don't remember ever seeing one quite that compact it looks like a cylinder moving through the sky with no flashing lights appears to be solid white and then it disappeared behind the tree line that occurred yesterday morning at 5 31 a.m great catch guys thanks for the video really appreciate it you guys have any photos or videos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com if you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email come over here to the home page of the website look for this banner that says have a large video it's a dropbox drag and drop your videos into the dropbox please include your first name date and location and i'll take it from there thanks for watching have a super day and be safe